here we go. All right, so here I have uh, my general. Just with a standard uh, V-Ray material on him. And he has his displacement map. And pretty straightforward displacement map setup. If I take a render, see how yeah, I'm going to get in a little bit closer probably. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, brow up left so that everyone can see that. I pull up my node editor here, and this is the uh, displacement node that goes into your shader. Um, so what you need in order to do this are two different maps. Uh, for this one I have the base map, and then I have the brow up left hand side map. So I do all my uh, sculpting in ZBrush, so I just export uh, a base displacement map and then the brow up left displacement map. Uh, oh, maybe that doesn't make any sense. I do my blend shapes in ZBrush as well, so they're all on layers. So all I do is activate that layer, brow up left, and I will have that shape. So then I export that map. I do 32-bit maps, so I deal with uh, out colors instead of alphas. Let's see here. Okay. Let's take a look at how this thing is hooked up. I think we need that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create this plus minus average node here. Sorry, just clean up the window. So you want two of them. So the first one you want here, and you want to set it on, make sure it's on sum. And I na uh, name them so that I know what I'm looking at. Call it sum. And what it is going to do is it's going to take the... Uh, the base map, you plug that into input 1, and then it's going to take the difference of the base map and the other map, the brow up map. So, what's ever left over between after the subtraction, you end up with a difference, and then you add the two together. So, basically, like in Photoshop, you do the difference layer blend mode and it takes the difference between the two textures. Same thing. That's all basically doing here. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, you take your first map and you plug it into uh, input 0, because that's your base. And if we just disconnected this, and did a quick render, you'll see didn't do anything. And it didn't do anything because brow up left, which is the blend shape map that I have here, isn't activated. And it's not activated because I have a set driven key on it. So let me not, I'll try not to get too far ahead of myself. All right, so uh, I'll take the next thing that you want to create after you've done this part, your base map, your sum node, you'll create this multiply divide node divide node and you will take the uh, uh, output x of that and you're going to put that into the input one of that alright 
So this multiply divide node here. that you can see. So you have input 1 and that's getting an input from this plus minus average node and this plus minus average node is taking the difference between these two maps like I said. So it's subtracting this map from that map. and you can see it's on subtract so it's taking this map and subtracting it from this map here taking the value and it's inputting it into this multiply node so this multiply node is going to multiply it by this and put it into this sum node so it's going to essentially multiply well, not essentially it just multiplies them together and you end up in this sum node which will take the two um, two inputs here and it'll take the sum of the difference between the two gosh I hope that makes sense because it is definitely confusing sometimes to uh, put this network together okay so one more time you create a regular displacement map node you create your plus minus average node you plug your base map into input 0 and then after that you create a multiply divide node and another plus minus average node I always label my nodes so that I know what I'm doing it was, when I come back later I'll never figure it out so I have another map which is the brow up map I'm going to plug that into this plus minus average node into input 0 and take my base map and plug that into input 1 set this plus minus average node onto subtract and it'll take the difference from this map. It will subtract the difference this map from this map. And then you will take that output from here, this plus minus average node, and you're going to plug it into this multiply divide node. And then this out multiply divide node goes into the sum map. So it's taking the sum and putting it into input D1. As you can see, I'll take a snapshot and then into your displacement node. Alright, hope that makes sense. So, now, how do you control it? Because it's great. If you don't control it, what you're going to do is just get the two maps. You're going to have to set the map, control it right here into input 0 this is your input 2x that's what controls these maps so if I was doing this without a control system I would have to activate these maps here so I'd have to control them here so I'd have to make this a 1 or a 0 and that will tell this network whether or not I want this map on or off so what I do instead is I do a set driven key driven by my blend shape. So whenever this blend shape value is 1, this value 2x on this multiply divide node will also be 1. So if I take this controller and activate brow up as you can see brow is up and you can also see that the value of brow up left is 1 and then if I go to this multiply divide node you will see this is 1 so that map is activated so what does it look like well in this particular instance is not a big difference because uh, I didn't go overboard on it.
but let's take a shot first without the map. Close this because it can get confusing here to look at. So I'm just going to disconnect this. And again, you can see here that brow up is on. Take a quick render. Okay, so you can see not a whole lot of detail in there. So I come back here, take my output X, and plugging it into input 1D. And 1D1 is because the first map is in 1D0. Let's uh, pull up the history here. Take this, delete that, save it. Take another render. And you can see a subtle difference. Uh, let's save that image. And you can click between the two if you uh, look closely. That's the first one. And that's with no, this is one with no map. The second map is not on. And this is with the map on. So that's with the map off, the map on. Map off, map on. Okay, so that's how you do uh, displacement wrinkle maps. Or at least that's how I do displacement wrinkle maps.